How's it going, everybody? Monday, April 22nd. Want to do a little trade recap. So I took a couple trades today. First one was on NVIDIA downside, and the next one was Tesla upside. Took five contracts on NVIDIA, that first trade. Breakdown, looking for a little continuation. Got a nice move on the contracts, then started to bounce, and I did not want those contracts to go red. So I ended up getting out for a 70 cent gain. Not a huge trade, but a nice little scalp. And then Tesla had a pretty good setup, little VWAP squeeze reversal after such a big gap down, three red days in a row on the daily. And then the day four gap down felt like capitulation. Little VWAP squeeze, went for the 141 calls, got them at $7.85. You know, we pushed above the high a day and then we started to kind of wick and just didn't get a lot of follow through. So I ended up just getting out. I didn't want to be involved in, you know, some sort of fake high a day breakout and then a rollover and watch those contracts go red. So I took a quick little scalp, nothing crazy. I don't think there was any A plus setups, but there were some decent setups, not a whole lot of follow through, but not bad for, you know, some setups that weren't amazing and ended up clipping off 500 bucks on the day. Now let's go through the actual technicals. So as far as Nvidia, I mean, look at this day on Friday, really broke down, feels like it opened up to the downside. And anytime there's going to be these big down days, and especially in the high flyers, I'm always gonna think that there's the possibility for some continuation, especially if we gap up into resistance. And that's exactly what happened today on Nvidia. So this thing closed pretty weak. The prior day low was 756. We were holding up our item pre-market, but not much of a bounce considering how big that sell-off was. So we were gapping up into resistance. So anytime we do that and there's a push off the open and then we start to fail, I'm always going to think that if we can get a downside opening range break, there's the possibility for a little bit more downside just because you get the push up into resistance, you get the rollover, and then there's potential for sellers to take control again, especially in a weak market because SPY and QQQ are getting beat up. And then this is the setup that I saw on NVIDIA. So the first candle, red candle, not over anticipating anything. We get a push over the highs and then an immediate bearish reversal candle on the two minute and we dropped VWAP. So I went for the low a day, the opening range break to the downside. This is what it looked like after that push up into 788 and just immediately engulfed this green candle as if it didn't even happen. And then we got below VWAP and I ended up taking the 775 puts. I did get a very nice drop in my favor. I think at one point the contracts were up about $2. So it was about a thousand dollar trade, but we just broke the lows. We got below VWAP. I felt like there was the potential for this low to get taken out. So I was waiting for this next candle to potentially make a new low a day, it did not do that. It opened up above the lows. And then the moment that we started to push back up into VWAP, I just got out. I figured if there is any more downside selling, I could reevaluate the setup and take it again, but I do not want to hold through a bounce because if it goes the other way, then it could squeeze. And that's actually exactly what happened. So I'm glad I got out of the way and let this do what it had to do because had I held and been patient, it would have been a big loser. So that was the first trade on NVIDIA, the five contracts on this candle when it broke the lows, got a fill price, $19.20. They are a little expensive, but that's just kind of how it goes with NVIDIA. Did get a nice little drop, started to bounce on me, took a 70 cent scalp. And while that was going on, Tesla started to move to the upside. So it was funny, I was actually talking to the group in pre-market. I get on the mic 15 minutes before and kind of just discuss the game plan and what I'm thinking. And I said, I know that Tesla is weak in pre-market, but this feels like capitulation. Why does it feel like capitulation? Because look at how aggressive this down move has been, or not even aggressive, but just this consistent move to the downside. You had three red days in a row, and then you had the day four gap down. So it just feels like there's the potential for like a rubber band snapback reversal. So I was actually thinking that in pre-market that it may not be easy to see, but if Tesla has a little bit of a washout and then it reclaims VWAP, it gets over VWAP, there could be a VWAP squeeze. Surprisingly enough, it actually happened. Now, nothing works 100% of the time, but just trying to analyze the data that I have in front of me. We are a little overextended to the downside. Let's see if we have a reversal. Yes, it was a rejection, but not overly anticipating anything. You get the washout off the open, you get these downside wicks, and then you get the squeeze over VWAP. Honestly, a perfect entry or a better entry would have been at VWAP, but I was trading NVIDIA. So by the time I got to it, I ended up taking it right towards the highs. The reason why I felt okay taking it towards the highs is just because of how extended it was to the downside and the fact that we just reclaimed VWAP. Sadly, I got to it a little late because I had closed the NVIDIA trade out and then I had to flip over to this. 
And then that's when I hopped in the 141 calls, kind of right at the money, even maybe slightly in the money a little bit, which I'm okay with, not a big deal. Got 10 of them, fill price at 785. And then I was trying to uh, you know, see if this could push over the highs and start to accelerate. And it did a little bit, but this wick right here on this candle was a little alarming because it just did not get a lot of follow through. I wanna see this push over the highs aggressively and then maybe have a little bit of consolidation well above the high. But the fact that we pushed above the highs, it was three green candles in a row, we started to kind of wick at that high a day. I ended up just taking it off. Did get a 15 cent scalp on it, but it ended up holding up above view out pretty well and there was nice continuation. So even though I didn't necessarily execute this that well, it was a nice setup and there was a decent move there. So not a great day, but not a terrible day. You know, went for the Nvidia downside opening range break. I thought that was a decent setup because it was gapping up into the resistance. Made a few bucks on it. The Tesla VWAP squeeze could have executed a little bit better, maybe been slightly more patient, but when it starts to kind of stuff at the highs and doesn't clear it out with aggressive price action, I always want to be cautious. So I got a very quick scalp. So it took two trades, nothing really crazy on each one of those trades and still made 500 bucks, which is a decent green day. So that was a trade recap. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video.